I'm down here along the Skagit River again. It's actually been about a week since my last video. Still waiting for the bus. As you can see, I haven't shaved uh, because my razor is still in the bus. If they don't get the bus done this weekend, I'm gonna have to have them let me into the bus so I can grab a couple of things. The weather's really cooled off and it started raining quite a bit. I don't know if you can see the grass back there, but it's all, all nice and damp from all the rain that we got yesterday. And Friday is supposed to be uh, the first real fall storm that's supposed to come through. So I think last time I mentioned that I was a little bit concerned about how unreliable the bus had's been. But really there aren't that many things to go wrong with it. And um, we'll see how it goes. I'm about $2,000 away, I think, from having a fully functional bus with everything it needs. So no matter what, I really need to just finish this off, finish off this project. Probably be done sometime around uh, November with it. Obviously this latest repair has been a bit of a financial setback and so I need to get that done. I was hoping within the next few weeks I'd be able to take a trip with it, but it just doesn't I just don't think that's actually realistic right now. That's okay. Uh, the fall hiking and the parks around here are really great. So, um, so I'll be doing a lot more of that the next couple of weeks, whether I have my bus or not. So I just wanted to go through a breakdown of everything that I need to do to finish off the bus. I've been maintaining this spreadsheet, which I'll put up somewhere on the screen here. And basically how it works is it just gives you a breakdown of my estimated cost for everything. I've looked up numbers. Uh, I think I can probably do better and beat most of those numbers. And uh, as you can see, the total is about $2,000. First thing I really need to do is get a new battery and a charger. I basically don't have much refrigeration right now um, because my battery can't make it through the entire night. And I think I mentioned in a previous video, my, uh, my Rock Pals little uh, battery unit thing, uh, it's falling apart, so I'm gonna have to get something new. So that's my top priority. I also need to get a sink in there. I've been living without a sink for a while just to see how it would go, but having a sink would actually be really nice. And the last thing that I'm going to need probably by the end of October is a heater. I'm probably just gonna go with a diesel heater and I have one that I uh, really like that I'm going to try and buy. But obviously I need a new battery first and it'll be really good though to have actual heat in the bus this winter. Uh, last year I was living in my car and actually because it's such a small space I didn't really need the heat at night. Uh, just my body heat keeps the car warm enough because it's such a small space. But that's not going to be true in the bus, I, I can already tell you. Uh, there's lots of air circulation, um, unintentional air circulation with the outside, and it's just a larger space, so I don't really warm it up like I did with the car. So by sometime in mid-November, I think, I need to get the bus taken back in and it's due for an oil change then. So we'll get the oil change. I need some fresh radiator fluid, some coolant and uh, brake fluid as well. And then at the same time, I should be able to replace all the ball joints in the front. Uh, they're still tight, but I can tell that you can see the rubber housing around the ball joints has basically been completely shot. They still need to be replaced. That's what I was planning on doing, um, you know, last week, but obviously I can't do that now. Uh, fortunately, I do have time, so I'm not too worried about it.
So once those repairs are done, hopefully that should be the end of my problems. But I also know this is a 25 year old vehicle, so there's probably going to be more. And that's kind of one of my issues with uh, switching to a different vehicle is anything in my price range is going to be just as old and have similar problems. At least I know what this vehicle's problems are, mostly, and I can deal with them. The biggest thing I think to prevent future issues is to just do maintenance. Make sure everything's maintained, make sure everything is regularly inspected, and I suspect that my reliability issues are going to slowly go away. So you can look forward to more videos of me just going on hikes uh, in the next couple of months. Uh, fall's my favorite time to go hiking around here anyways. And as you can see, it's just really a nice time of year here in the Northwest. I also just saw that Eastern Washington is opening up again. I probably won't make too many trips out there, but I might take one. Uh, public lands have been closed all summer out in eastern Washington because of fire danger, but as things are cooling off and the rain's starting to come back, there's going to be a lot more opportunities to go exploring out there as well. So I might take a few more trips out there. I'll probably take a couple trips up into the mountains before the snow really starts hitting in as well.